Hey what's up guys, so I got a Cobb access port, um, I know you're probably saying what do I need a Cobb access port for when I have a custom tune on my car. The reason that you get a Cobb access port is for a number of reasons. Um, most of the time people use that as the sole reason for tuning their car, but the reason I ended up getting it was because for one thing it, you can monitor a lot of things with it and log stuff. Um, the main reason I got it is because I'm going to be doing a flex fuel setup and you cannot do flex fuel without a Cobb access port, so that was the main reason I got it. So let's put these wires in and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, so as you can see, I ran the cord down through this little area. All you have to do is take this take this pillar off and then there's a hole down through the body to floor panel over here. Basically, you just have to route the wire up and put it however long you want it. I have a couple things routed through here. I got the boost gauge and all the wires for that routed. Um, I got this mic for my stereo routed through there. Uh, you can route a lot of stuff behind this thing. I got this little suction cup mount from Amazon for like 11 bucks. It mounts to this plate that comes on with the access port. So it just slides right on. So far it's been really sturdy. I've been driving around with it for a couple days. And then lastly, you gotta plug your access port into your OBD2. If you're like me, it's still kind of irritating to have wires, even this, hanging down. You don't have to have your access port plugged in all the time as long as the tune's on there. So when you get an access port, when you have a custom tune, uh, you have to take the access port to your tuner to have them load the map that they built onto the access port or else you'll be erasing it by installing it on your car without that and you'll overwrite whatever custom map you have with one of Cobb's off-the-shelf maps which you probably don't want to do after spending some money on a tune. That's pretty much it as far as the access port goes. Good for monitoring. You can use it as your sole source of tuning but the more stuff you have the more I would recommend getting a custom tune that way your car is using everything to its full potential. You definitely have to have it if you're going flex fuel like I am. I'm just waiting on the sensor. That's about it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff here pretty soon having to do with the flex fuel setup and uh, a few other things which I'll probably put a video about upcoming plans. Again, thanks for watching.